Hello everyone, it's me, Ben Hall, back with another one of my quick reviews, this time for Ironcast, which is just coming out this week on all the major consoles after being out for a while on PC. Developed by Dreadbit, which is a small Guildford-based indie developer and published by Ripstone, uh, Ironcast comes to us after a successful Kickstarter um, project, and it's a, it's a charmingly challenging, quirky experience. The basic concept of Ironcast is that we're in this alternative steampunk inspired Victorian England uh, in which you as a sort of wealthy to do aristocrat type pilot a giant walking tank and try to repel a French invasion of similar walking tanks and this is done through one major gameplay mechanic which is the matching of gems puzzle type game situation now that in itself isn't that sort of interesting or unique but what Ironcast does is it makes it so every type of gem has a different uh, value and a different use in the game. So be it coolant systems, ammunition, repair, scrap, which is your currency in the game, and things like that. And basically, it starts off very simple, and you think, oh, I, I get this game. But then the difficulty quickly ramps up, and you realize that it's actually a roguelike gem matching puzzle game. Which, as far as I know, is totally unique and unheard of anywhere else prior to this game coming out. Um, and by that I mean roguelike, you have permadeath. So, you know, you're, you're ro rolling along, you're fighting a guy, and you, you make a mistake, and you die, and you get kicked back to the, new, the, the, the main menu of the game, which is really interesting. But you get these things called commendation marks, which add into this, this idea of replayability. So basically, with the commendation marks, you can buy new iron casts, which are the walking tanks, new commanders and new abilities, which give you a better chance at subsequent playthroughs or you know, give you more customization, maybe something that will actually add to your play style as you move through the game and give you more of a, a more of a chance against the enemies. It is a hard game, and even if you're good at puzzle matching, if you get like um, a bad draw on the on the gems, and you know you're not getting the ammo when you need it, you can get messed up really fast. On top of this, there's a loot system, there's upgrading to your iron cast, there's basically a, a mission selection screen where you can choose what battles you want to do next, how much challenge you want it to be. You also have a time limit. Basically, you have eight rounds, I believe it is, before you have to fight the final boss. And if you're not ready, you're going to lose. That's if you even make it to the final boss. So there is a great deal of interesting depth to Ironcast that you, you won't see maybe in other gem matching games of this type of genre. It's, I think, a marvellously odd experience. I really enjoyed myself with Ironcast. It is totally unique and charming. and I, I'm actually quite negative about the whole steampunk era of stuff, usually because it's so hokey. But in this, you can tell that Dreadbit have really sort of are reveling in the ludicrousness of the, of the nature of it. They've got all these silly technology, they've got the characters which are wonderfully well written in these little cutscenes. Um, it comes across as a very self-aware game, but it has so much depth to it that you find yourself being drawn in. The, the rounds, like ever, there's usually a time limit in, in each battle, and you find yourself having to balance so many different facets. You're repairing things. You're targeting enemy subsystems. You're, you know, considering: Do I want to go for the money here? Do I need the repair stuff? Do I need ammo? Do I need coolant? Everything's balanced out wonderfully, which really adds to the level of challenge and replayability of the game. And I've died multiple times and restarted multiple times. I'm still yet to successfully finish the campaign, but I have played many, many rounds now. Uh, unlocked new um, uh, commanders, unlocked new iron casts and new abilities, and it just keeps it keeps bringing you back for more and more. Uh, and it's such a, a wonderfully different type type of game. There's just nothing else like it on any of the consoles right now. Yeah, you've got your different your puzzle games and your whatevers on the consoles, uh, and you've got your roguelikes, but nothing that brings them together in such a, a wonderfully unique way, which is also wrapped up uh, and brought together by this quirky, charming, humorous setting. I absolutely love my time of Ironcast, and I highly recommend people pick it up this week now that it's going to be available on all the consoles. Um, it works beautifully on the consoles with control controls just you know mapping you know, brilliantly like it's clearly designed with controls uh, with a controller in mind when it was first put out. So yeah, I can't recommend it enough. I think that means I give Ironcast an 8 out of 10.